show us your love and support by clicking on the subscribe button and bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos and updates. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending upon when you're listening to this podcast. This is Kunal Sog and you have tuned into Chai Time Poetry, the second season of our very own poetry podcast brought to you by FC Poetry Club, URF, Frowning Clowns Poetry Club. This podcast is specially designed to accompany you when you are enjoying your favorite cup of tea or an aromatic cup of coffee. If you like this podcast, please follow us on Instagram at FC Poetry Club and on YouTube at Frowning Clown. Without wasting any more time and before your cup of tea or your cup of coffee gets cold, let's take our first sip of poetry. In today's episode of Chai Time Poetry, I have with me Muskan from Mumbai, Tejasvini from Kolhapur, and Akash from Bangalore. So basically, I have three poets from three different parts of this country. Here only to make your chai time a little more precious or a little more entertaining. You know, I am 26 years old by the way and I very well understand the meaning of generation gap. Especially when I look at someone who is 36 years old and more. And even when I look at, you know, people who are 20 years old or less. And I honestly believe in the idea of staying relevant and staying up to date with the upcoming trends, with the upcoming demands, and even with the change in people's perspectives. And so today I have with me Muskan. Uh, she's here to narrate this beautiful poem that she has written that talks about what must be going in a 20 year old girl or boy's mind uh, in today's time. So let's hear this amazing poem by Muskan. Politics. It's dirty, I know. Say this too, we all know. I saw an old woman the other day begging for money in exchange of God's true blessings. So I gave her a 10 rupee coin she caused me and my family. 10 wasn't enough for her. I guess 10 wouldn't be enough for me. Should I have given her my entire savings of rupees 213? I really wanted to save it when I visited this new place for go-karting. It's expensive, you know. I had to buy food too that day for my brother and me. I felt thirsty too and it's 60 rupees for a litre of packaged water. What do you choose when it comes at the cost of four vada pavs? Jeez, what a debacle. So now I'm thinking why and it's because there is less pure water and the supply is less and the demand is more and the economics is kicking in. I really need the button stop to press. I'm going mental I think psychology is coming in. But I was talking to you about the society and now I'm thinking about my own list of sins. I write this to you and you read this. It gives me the power, the power to write. It gives you the power, the power to feel. But it's really just broken sentences. I could write long ones, but you complain. And I must please you because you are the guest here. And I will have to do everything there is to do. It reminds me. When will the guests leave my place, crowding my house like crazy? Chachi, please give me back my space. They tell me I've gained weight, but are they counting the seats they forced me and I ate? I don't want to eat early in the morning, ma, but eat breakfast king size, she says. I know, I know, it's motherly concern, but I'm all grown up now. I wore it for the first time this year, you know. I didn't think the candidatures were right, but does it really matter what I think is right? Because I'm only 20 and you ask me if I even know what's plight. You tell me I'm only 5 foot in height, but trust me in my guts I know my voice is the only thing growing in size. 
welcome to an anxious mind your anxiety is my lover and oh well just see just see how well we grind we grind on and on till i find the hope i lost till i find some solace in the poems i write to you and to you only i boast so when my lover bites me i moan I moan in pauses deep and tell him the stories of the valleys inside me and the bumps on my thighs. Bumps that walk white like the starry stain drawn in my galaxy wide. When my lover pushes me beneath and asks me to suck on it, I go down, I drown deep like the pond spit in the rivers. I do reach the bottom but it won't be an abyss. like the dread of bahamas in the rainy reds when my lover steals my charm i'll be the willing victim for you see i can only look at myself in the water that's my height deep there are sea gulls sailing to fly over my light and the horses shall run on my island sea When my lover asks me to strip bare I do that because even a little bit is enough petals didn't fall because they are pretty but buds rise in their nihilistic night so I shall stamp my beauty in my new precious and make room for rooting inside When my lover stops asking things of me I shall grow the desire to fall asleep better You know young and taken are the mountains in the charm of the flying flies the braving beasts in forest are the kings who have lost and loved and lost again in sight when my lover makes me meet ghosts i will greet them I will greet them in sorrow for they are the ones who never want to leave. They're there from winter to summer to winter again. Their leaves are dry and they're alive again. So I shall meet them on the outside of the box, on the lemon leaning, perhaps. When my lover, however, tries to make me dance outside the windows and on beaches in rains. When my lover however makes me dance outside the windows and on beaches in rains I shall stop myself and not follow in I will tell myself again and again that let your lover tell you how to live but do not let your lover tell you how to die I shall tell myself let your lover tell you how to live but not how to die so don't jump off the ledge don't jump off the void and don't jump off your screaming sigh if it is hurting in your hollow sigh know that tides are just waves that wane wild so i shall say lover so i shall say lover say goodbye or lover tell me why Lover say goodbye or lover tell me why I shall say lover please say goodbye This is such a beautiful poem and especially the way you narrated it Muskan your voice is so full of life and texture it's just beautiful You know the one thing that I related uh, with the most was how you have to keep a tally or count of every penny that you are spending especially when you are in your teens or just over it. <laughs> you know uh it, it's just so relatable. Uh but I would love to know what inspired you to write this poem. Okay actually say I wrote this poem at the time when i was i think at the lowest lows of my life i couldn't sleep i had constant nightmares and i was seeking therapy at the time um and you know as an adult it was a lot of relearning <laughs> required to acknowledge such a basic problem as a problem a lot of anxiety is when i wrote this and you know poetry for me especially at the time when i wrote this was about expression 
and a therapeutic one at that it really helped me because you know i would ramble on and on and on till i found a point in the poem itself where i felt okay like i felt okay within the chaos i was in and that for me is a reminder of strength so you know whenever i revisit this piece it's not so much about what i had to go through but it's like an active reminder that hey muskan you survived this phase of your life and whatever it is there to come you can so um yeah poetry to me and this piece is a reminder of my strength it's amazing that you are comfortable to talk about anxiety and feeling low a lot of people hide such feelings but i really urge all of them to speak up as it's going to help you eventually and as muskan rightly said it's okay to be in chaos it's okay to be in a mess because at the end i honestly believe that chaos is a ladder and not a pit when a person feels uh, in a in chaos or in pain or uh, at a low especially when someone you love the most leaves you or goes somewhere far far away somewhere out of your reach out of your boundaries when this happens how do you really feel or what are the emotions that you go through you know today we have akash with us who's going to help us answer all these question in a poetic way with an amazingly written hindi poem so let's hear this beautiful poem by akash कि तुम्हारे जाने के बाद चीजों को जब मैं समेट रहा था तेरे मेरे कुछ किस्से मिले पन्नों में लिखे थोड़े हिस्से मिले थोड़े वादे थे कितने पाक इरादे थे लंबी मुलाकातें थी ना जाने कितनी ही सारी बातें थी और उनमें ख्वाब तो मानो वैसे का वैसा ही मिला बस तेरे मेरे दरमिया इंसान बदल सा गया कोई तकलीफ किसी बात की नहीं मुझे और खुशी इस बात की कि तुम्हें जाने दिया तुम्हें जाने दिया क्योंकि तुम जाना चाहती थी कहते भी हैं यूं ही किसी को रोका नहीं करते जो जा रहा हो उसे टोका नहीं करते और तुम मेरी जिंदगी में कोई तितली सी ही तो बन के आई थी कितने सारे रंगों को अपने साथ लेके आई थी इस आसमां में तुमने ही तो इंद्रधनुष बनाया था जिंदगी जीना जानता था मैं मगर मानो फिर से जीना आया था तुम्हें देख के लगा जैसे कोई खुशी चल के आई थी तुम्हारे आने से पहले बड़ी हसीन सी तनहाई थी रातों में हमने कितनी ही सारी मुलाकातें की तुम चुप थी मैं चुप था जुगनुओं ने ही हमारी बातें की और बरसात तो मानो जैसे कोई गजल सुना रहा था खुश था वो हमारे लिए मैं भी कितना पागलों सा शर्मा रहा था जैसे खूबसूरत चीज देखी ही ना हो मैंने तुम जैसा खूबसूरत लोग लिखते हैं आज भी मोहब्बत पे इश्क पे 
पर चाह के भी लिख नहीं पाते हैं कुछ वैसा ही हूं मैं तुम्हारे लिए लिखना चाहूं भी तो लफ्ज कम पड़ते हैं आंखों में थोड़ी नमी सी है दिल ना जाने क्यों थम सा जाता है सांसें चलती हैं मगर बेवजह सी लगती हैं तुम हो ही इतनी प्यारी और कहते हैं चीजों को करीब रखा नहीं करते कभी कभार टूट जाती है और मैं नहीं चाहता टूटा हुआ मैं तुम्हें कभी चुप जाओ शायद शायद इसलिए अपनी कहानी यहीं तक की थी और बात इतनी भी है किसी का हो जाना कोई बड़ी बात थोड़ी है किसी का हो जाना कोई बड़ी बात थोड़ी है कुछ बात इतनी सी भी है कब तक के लिए भला कि तुम्हारे जाने के बाद मेरा क्या हुआ तुम्हारा क्या हुआ ना मुझे है खबर ना तुम्हें है खबर शायद यही जिंदगी है शायद यही मोहब्बत है This is such a heartfelt poem Akash and plus your voice is so soothing uh, that this it makes the poem even more impactful and even more uh, you know dil ke kareeb sorts I love the way you are trying to explore what love is or what mohabbat is through this poem But what is it that triggered you to write this poem Akash The only reason I got to write that poetry was that we are too busy falling in love and when it gets over we blame love for nothing plus the love has always been its true meaning but we humans love making it more complicated by the end of every relationship we point out the feelings not the person which is so wrong and another point is that everything in this world has its own meaning but love never got the same everyone has their own definitions to define it and that's the reason me writing about it is more like exploring it more to the core that's all well i completely agree with that fact that love is one such word that does not really have a defined meaning rather its meaning changes from person to person You know I think in our lives we all should find the true meaning of love that suits us and then look out for someone uh, who will acknowledge or compliment that meaning and I'm sure everyone who is listening to this poem or this podcast will find the true meaning of love that resonates with them Well talking about love reminds me of a beautifully written poem by Tejaswini a poem that talks about you know pyar ka nasha or intoxication of love so without wasting any more time let me present you this beautiful poem by tejaswini the golden goblet there was this golden goblet that beckoned me to it filled with brimming red madira it invited me to it in temptation i moved forward and my fingers lifted it as i put it to my mouth i felt a pinch of guilt but compared losing all my woes guilt was very slight for all that i supposed was i'd forget my love and hence my plight 
I drank and drank and drank till the wee hours of the morn thinking that today a new heart I will born Oh what destiny had in mind made me drown more in rue the madira turned out to be love poison i construed for forget the forgetting for which i'd gulped it down the madira ran through all my veins spreading more of you alone i'd sat there to drink it in want of losing gloom and here it turned my whole being into poison color blue the haunting color of you which now i cannot undo well to be honest i heard this poem on a loop because this poem has so many layers and so many metaphors in it and especially the usage of the hindi word or urdu word madira just makes it so fleshed out in a way i just love this poem and to be honest the only thing or the only thought that i had in my mind was the phrase that too much of anything is bad but let's find out what actually inspired tejasvini to write this poem well what inspired me to write this poem the defining factor has to be my favorite literary character devdas and the way he tries to forget his unrequited love as everyone knows by drowning himself um into intoxication the more he tries to forget the more he drowns himself in love that is the basic premise of my poem in addition i used a small touch of hindi in it that is the word madira because this word has such a touch of romance to it it has been my favorite word and nothing uh, in english maybe could have defined uh, the intoxication in a more romantic manner that is why i use the word madira also the title the golden goblet referred to the fact that how something can entice us but all that glitters is not gold after all and as quoted by shri shri ravi shankar what inspired me was that uh, he has always said that negativity appears to give us pleasure but in fact it induces pain so for a short time maybe uh, when we do get addicted to certain things we feel that we are happy we have forgotten everything but in the end all it does is induces pain so at the end of the poem all the speaker gets is pain so what i what inspired me to write this is that i wanted to share to the world that we must not get sucked in by negative elements and we must try to face critical situations in a positive way by staying strong so yes certain situations in life um take us to this path but then we must try to get out of it as soon as possible because in the end all they do is give us pain yeah i hope you liked my work thank you tejaswini honestly this poem is so so good i i loved the fact that your inspiration was actually devdas a movie which is flawed and broken in its love story and i and i think i am going to use this idea of using a hindi or a urdu word in my english poems these these words give a very beautiful character a very beautiful layer to the poem you see at the end i hope that everyone who is listening to this poem and this podcast does not get intoxicated by anything that your golden goblet has to offer Well that's all in today's episode of Chai Time Poetry. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed creating this podcast for you. Let us know if you like us as your Chai Time companion. 
hope to see you again next time with some more amazing poetries and with another comforting cup of tea or coffee. But till then, I urge you to please follow us on Instagram at FC Poetry Club and subscribe to our YouTube channel Frowning Clown because it's free of cost. Please do comment and let us know how you like this podcast and do not forget to like and share it. And until I meet you next time, please keep smiling and let the clown do the frowning. Bye-bye.